This video will discuss the general procedures for shoring the Cessna Model 208 Caravan when equipped with the TKS Blister Pod for required maintenance specific to the aircraft fuselage. Make sure you read and understand the maintenance manual before accomplishing any shoring procedures. First, chalk the aircraft. Next, make sure the tail stand is secured in place. Prior to lifting and shoring the aircraft, you will need to fabricate shoring support cradles. Cessna recommends fabricating four shoring support cradles and labeling them according to the position they will be on the aircraft. The shoring cradles can be fabricated locally using plywood laminated together side by side and secured with bolts until a minimum thickness of 2 inches is obtained. The cradle should be contoured to fit the lower surface of the fuselage while taking into account the TKS blister pod. The contour board should be padded with half an inch of felt and covered with canvas duct, carpet, or equivalent. You may also consider referencing another YouTube video entitled How to Make a Fuselage Contour Board Template for details. Because the TKS blister pod interferes with the fuselage contour at stations 128 and 166.45, the shoring support cradles will need to be properly contoured so as to not damage the pod or the components within, while still maintaining proper support of the aircraft structure. Though the means of shoring is up to the maintenance facility, it is to be noted that the most important goal here is to adequately and securely support the fuselage to prevent sagging or movement of the fuselage structure. Though other methods may be used, this video focuses on one acceptable method for shoring. Locate the shoring cradles at fuselage stations 234 and 284 per Chapter 7 of the Maintenance Manual. Since the blister pod interferes with the cradle location at fuselage station 166.45, it is permissible to support the fuselage at this station utilizing the lower wing strut to fuselage attach fittings. Take protective measures to ensure you do not damage the strut attach lugs. Likewise, since the blister pod also interferes with fuselage station 128, it may be necessary to move the shoring cradle forward approximately 10 inches to allow enough surface area of the cradle to provide sufficient support in this area. Once the shoring cradles are in place, raise the shoring cradles up to the aircraft fuselage in the proper shoring locations and ensure the shoring cradles are secured in place. Make sure when raising the cradles up to the fuselage, the load is spread out uniformly across the contour of the cradles. The cradles are snug and the aircraft is stable and secured. Depending on the type of repairs being done, it may be necessary to support the engine to alleviate any undue stresses on the fuselage structure. Connect the hoist sling to the forward and aft lifting brackets and connect the sling to the engine hoist. Raise the hoist just enough to support the weight of the engine. The aircraft should now be prepared for maintenance specific to the aircraft fuselage. For additional details and procedures related to this video, please reference the Cessna Caravan and Pratt & Whitney manuals. For any questions related to this video, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or by email at csstructures at txtav.com.